the Minecraft Minimap Mod, also known as as Xero's minimap. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get it. And first things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. And once you're here, this is our complete text guide on getting Xero's minimap. We're going to go over everything in this video too, but this is good to have if you kind of want to go at your own pace or prefer text guides. I actually prefer text guides. That's one of the reasons we make them. But nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download Xero's minimap button to go to the official Xero's minimap download page. Once you're here, what we want to do is click on the files tab, and then we want to find the one 1.20.4 Forge version of Xero's minimap. So as you can see here, we have that. This is the Forge version. It's for Minecraft 1.20.4, and we can even confirm this over here with the name. Come over here next to this version, click the three dots, and click download file. While this is downloading, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown the XYZ slash SGH. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, mod packs, or plugins and customize the server however you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown XYZ slash SGH to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, Xero's minimap is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. From there, we want to go ahead and move on to downloading Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows the minimap mod, Xero's minimap, to work in Minecraft. So in the description down below, we have a link to here. This is our in-depth text guide to getting Forge. It's going to go way more in-depth to troubleshooting issues you may have along the way and all of that stuff than we're going to be able to in this video. That's more for getting the minimap. But it is here as a resource, so go to the description down below, third link down below, and it will take you here. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. On this page, you want to come over here to the left-hand side and select 1.20.4, which you see MC 1.20.4 here. Come under Download Latest and click on Installer. That then takes us off to Add Focus, where stop, just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button that appears in the top right. Do not click anything else. Just click the red skip button in the top right. And when you do, it will go ahead and download Forge. As you can see, we have Forge 1.20.4. As long as it says Forge 1.20.4 in the title, you're going to keep or save this file on your browser if it prompts you to do so. It didn't for me, but if it does for you, you're good to keep or save it. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is move Forge to our desktop. Most likely, it's going to be in your downloads folder, so we can go here to our downloads folder. We have Forge and Xero's minimap. We're going to move both of these to our desktop. They're not going to be there by the time you're done with this video, but it's easier to just keep them there while we're doing the video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right-click on Forge first, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, you can get it from the description down below. Specifically, Java 17 is needed for Minecraft 1.20.4, and a guide on how to get it is, again, down below. It goes over everything you need to know to get Java up and running for Minecraft. It covers it all, and specifically for Minecraft mods, because that's what we're doing here. We're installing Minecraft mods. Now, occasionally, after you get Java, you'll also need to run the jar fix, and what the jar fix is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. But first, install Java 17, then then get the jar fix, then you're good to go. We can open up Forge. Again, to do that, that was right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That opens up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where in here, all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK. Now, for me, it successfully installs, but if it doesn't for you, it could be for two reasons. One, Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. If that's the case, make sure both of those are closed, then come back and you'll be able to install Forge. Two, you want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. If you've not done that, well, this won't work. So go play it, just launch it to the Minecraft main menu, then close out of it, and then come back and you'll be able to install Forge. Nevertheless, it was successful for us. As you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge. Click OK, closes out of that, and you can delete the Forge installer from your desktop. Now let's go ahead and get Xero's minimap installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and we want to play Minecraft using our Forge installation. Now for me, that's automatically selected. If we see here next to the play button, we have Forge. You can click this uh, little arrow here to see all of the ones you have available. And if Forge is here, click it, click play, click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, go to installations at the top and make sure modded is checked. As you can see, I unchecked modded. Forge isn't there. When you check modded, there it is. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or the correct version of Forge, what you want to do is click new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here and select release 1.20.4 Forge. Now, if you uh, can't find it easily, you can always search for Forge here and select it. And then once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and create the profile. 
by clicking create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com installation that most importantly has 1.20.4-forge under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Forge. That's the hard part, by the way. The hardest part of getting the minimap mod is getting Forge installed. So if you've made it to this point, you're going to be amazed with how simple and easy it is to get from here to using a minimap in game. All we need to do now is go into the mods section on our main menu. So we click mods here and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, for the Minecraft main menu, click mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left. That will open your mods folder where all you've got to do is drag Xero's minimap from your desktop into the mods folder, right like so. Then we can come back here and it's not here. And it's not going to be. You want to click done and then quit Minecraft. Then you want to open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, also making sure to play Minecraft with Forge. You always want to make sure you're playing Minecraft with your Forge installation. Either the one that was there by default or if you created your own with that one. So your Forge installation that has 1.20.4-Forge under it. When you play Minecraft with it this time, Xero's minimap will be installed once we get back in game. We can confirm Xero's minimap is installed by going to the mods button here and seeing Xero's minimap. We can also use this minimap on Minecraft servers like a simple game hosting server. So let's go ahead and join this server and then once we're in game the minimap will be in the top left and uh, you can move it around and all that stuff but by default it is up here in the top left this will work on vanilla servers so this is a vanilla server here nothing like crazy going on it's just minecraft vanilla 1.20.4 on a server and the minimap works because you don't have to do anything server side for the Xero's minimap to work, which is pretty cool. As far as settings go, you can hit Y on your keyboard to open up all the minimap settings. You can toggle it. You can change the position. For example, I prefer it over here on the left. I also am going to uh, probably want it to be a bit larger. You can change all of that stuff here as well. So awesome. Tons of settings to change on the minimap. And again, that was accessed by hitting the Y key on your keyboard. But nevertheless, you now know how to get the Minecraft Xero's minimap mod in 1.20.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and we will see you in the next video.